My first screen that we're looking at here today is this is our front view panel of Teams. Okay, I'm working in our desktop option right now. I've downloaded this. It's installed on my computer. And from here, this is where everything happens for me in a day to day. Now, once we go through this and we look, I want you to take a, the whole full view of this. I've got meeting information on the right. I've got a general post deck in front of me that displays everything that I've clicked on in the left side. And starting from the top, <clears throat> I've got a suite of already pre-pinned or pre-programmed uh, shortcuts sitting on the left side here. And coming through that line all the way down to the bottom, I've got an apps and a help section here and a giant button with the word across it here that says I can join or create a team from here. So the other place that I can access my teams from would be straight out of the browser. So here's the same screen. I'm accessing it through my Microsoft Edge browser and not through the application on my desktop. And the third way that I can access it is the same one would be through my mobile phone. So you can open up your mobile phone. You can have your Microsoft Teams app there. You click it like any other app, it launches on your phone. So you've got three options there to keep track if you're on the go, whether or not you're working on a shared computer or otherwise through, through the Teams functionality from the web. And then of course, the full functionality from the app here. So if you look at those two, they're identical when you look at the performance and the overlay. That and just a quick desktop. pro tip here, Jermaine, some of us uh, are working maybe part of a peer group or mm -hmm. might be working professional services and you're working on projects with different companies and different organizations. Right. And if you're just working in the desktop or the mobile version of Teams, you have to actually switch over to that organization's Teams in, in desktop and it takes you away from your own organization's Teams. But if you have the web browser open as well, uh, you can have one company's team open in the web browser and one on your desktop, and it allows you to be using both of them and seeing messages and accessing files and stuff at the same time without as much switching back and forth. So that's a great point. Um, as I've got it open already, I can just go ahead and show that. I'm the member guest in two other external teams to Techify. And at any one point in time, I can come here to the browser and click on to that to get to that team. It's now completely removed me from the Techify team. And I only see the external team here. And based on that, my team in my um, desktop app is still on Techify. So if you don't want to be interrupted from your internal organization team, then you can go ahead and launch any number of uh, incognito windows in your browser that loads up each of the teams that you're a member of. It's a great point.